let us get started with building basic views in Tableau. How do you create basic visualizations? What we will do is we will take a case study. We will take a credit risk project. What is a credit risk project? To understand what's a credit risk project, you need to understand what is a credit score. What is a credit score? Nowadays, if you apply for a loan, your credit score will be checked, isn't it? What is credit score? This credit score will tell us whether a customer is risky. If a customer is risky, let us not give him a loan. If the customer is non-risky, if the customer is not risky, then we would like to give a loan. Now, how this credit score is decided, whether a customer is risky or not, how do you get to know that? How do you get to know that? By looking at the historical financial data of a customer, we can decide whether a customer is likely to pay back or not. And the customer can pay back or not, that can be decided by looking at the historical data. How can you get the historical data? We can look at the customer transactions, like you have Aadhaar card number, you have PAN card number. In US, you have social security number. Using the customer specific numbers, we will be able to get the information. Some of the information can be accessed when the customer is applying for a loan, he will fill, fill a form. From there, we can get some information. Some of the information can be accessed from his uh, bank transactions based on the bank transactions that he has made from there. Some of the information can be accessed from the bureaus. From Sibyl, we can access some information from there. So in US, you can take social security number. In India, you can use PAN card number to decide or to find out what are all the transactions a particular customer has made we can get to know the customer age number of dependents number of current loans how many loans he has right now number of credit cards he is having number of late payments he has made in last two years average card utilization if one lakh is the credit limit if swiping for thirty thousand that means out of one hundred thousand he is swiping thirty thousand that means his utilization is 30%. The time since he opened, is he a new customer or he has been here from past five years or 10 years, then he is more reliable. The number of previous applications for the credit card or a loan, how many times he has applied for a loan, how many times he has applied for a credit card or previously whether the customer was bankrupt or not bankrupt means whether the customer has it ever happened with a customer that he never paid a loan? He took a loan, but he never paid. So there are so many factors that will influence the credit score. How much amount he has to pay back to the bank. Right now, he already have two loans. He has to pay around 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs versus another customer who has to pay 20 lakhs. So right now, a customer with 2 lakhs loan versus a customer with 20 lakh loan. Obviously, a customer with 20 lakh loan is very much risky. A length of credit history, that means a customer is using the bank account from past 12 years versus a customer is using a bank account from past one year only. Obviously, this guy is much more safer compared to this new customer. How many loans the customer already has? One customer has three existing loans. One customer has 10 existing loans. Another customer has one existing loan. Who is risky? Obviously, the customer with more number of loans is risky. So like that, we can use all these factors to find out whether a customer is risky or not. That is the analysis what we are trying to do here. What kind of customers are very risky? Historically, we have some historical data, two years data we have. Looking at that data, can you find out who are the customers who turn out to be risky? Who are the customers who turn out to be non-risky? Non-risky means the customers who are safe. So what we can do is we can give all these non-risky customers the loan. The risky customers we can reject when they apply for a loan, we can reject them. So how do you find out whether a customer is risky or not based on all these factors? So let us do this analysis and find out who are the risky customers, who are the non-risky customers. Let us take some real data. Here are our project steps. First, get the data, do the univariate analysis. What is univariate analysis? Uni, one variable at a time. Then bivariate analysis, every variable versus target. Our target is whether the customer is risky or not. So what really influences the risk? What really helps us to calculate the risk associated with the customer? Multivariate analysis, we will create dashboards and find out 
what factors will lead to bad customers. Finally, we present the final insights. As I told you, data visualization is not really about creating beautiful charts. Data visualization is about bringing the business insights. At the end of the day, your analysis, your visualizations must make business sense. We should be able to take some business decisions based on the analysis that you have presented. Let us start by importing the data. So the data set name is credit CS training wares underscore version one. Let us get the data set. You must be having this data in the class material. If you go to data sets folder, you must be having this data. Can you see this data? CS training wares version one dot XLSX. That's the data that we would like to get that okay so let's get this data you can create a new workbook if you like to let us create a new workbook new tably workbook so this is the new tably workbook and let's click on connect to data either you can be here or you can be here look at this here or here data and this you can say connect to data microsoft excel and what is your data set name credit training credit score training variables version one dot excel sx that is the data set name that's the data set name yep once you have the data we will get the data in and we'll work with it. So pause the video here, get the data. Once you have this, then I'll tell you what to do next. So these are the two tables. One is customer profile table. One another one is usage table. So we need to get the information from both the tables. First customer profile table. Let me double click on it. Once you double click on this, then it is saying it is processing, it is loading the data. Let's wait for the data to load. Here is the data, customer profile data. You will get a chance to look at the fields. Fields means variables. In the customer profile, you have customer ID, age, monthly income, gender, education level, marital status. ABC, ABC, these are all in blue color. These are known as non-numeric variables. Numerical variables are shown in green color hash check this out or you can check the data as well customer id customer pro uh, customer what is this age and then monthly income gender education level marital status you have the data already given okay so what we do right now is we will try to bring the other data usage table is different having different data set so what we need to do is we need to get the data from usage table. Okay. So let's get the data from usage table. Let us get the second table, which is usage table. You just drag and drop it. Remember, these are the sheets. These are the actual tables. So in a sheet, you can have multiple tables in Excel. So this is the table usage table. And if you look at the relationship here automatically it seems that from the customer profile table from the usage table already the common keys have been already attached and looks like the relationship is formed on whatever tableau has understood based on that it formed a relation that for every customer this is the customer usage data that it is getting so let us have a look at the usage table from the usage table you have something like customer was risky or not since this is historical data we got to know who is the customer who is risky who is the customer who is not risky and the other details like monthly utilization how much money he was spending on his credit card every month what is the percentage and then number of late payment counts in the last two years how many times he paid late some customers has paid late some customers have paid late some customers did not debt ratio what is the depth to income? If a customer is earning 1 lakh, his debt is 30,000 per month. EMI's debt ratio is 30%. Existing loans count. How many existing loans a customer has? 
number of real estate loans, how many personal loans, how many home loans he has, number of dependents. So you have the usage data, you have the customer profile data, and the relationship is customer ID here is uh, joined using the customer ID. And then looks like it is many to many relationship. I think we have to modify this many to many relationship. If you want to modify these also, you can modify here customer ID. Here also customer ID. We don't need to modify anything here. If you want to add many more fields for joining, you can do that. Otherwise, you proceed. But here I want to match. Here it is not many to many. One customer ID in this table must be matched with one customer ID in this table. I'm pretty confident, like I'm aware of this fact that one customer ID will be matched with one customer ID there only. That's why I'm making it as one to one. Otherwise, you can leave it as default also if you're not aware of it. Here, you can keep it as it is. Some records match, some records may not match. So if you say just some records match, then you can leave it as it is. So with all these relations, the two data sets are created. Both of them are joined. The relationship can also be seen. Now we are ready to get started with the visualization and visualization starts with univariate analysis, one variable at a time. So if you click on the sheet, go to worksheet, you will be able to create the visualizations with these two tables, customer profile table, the usage table. Customer profile table has ABC, ABC, which means non-numerical values and numerical values. Usage table has non-numerical values as well as numerical values. So we are going to go through all these columns one by one, one by one, one by one to get a better understanding of this, okay? Here, if you click, one more sheet will be added. This is called dashboard. This is called storyboard that we will see later on. Mostly we will be working with the sheets for now. Then we will go to the dashboards later on. So as of now, this is sheet one we can modify the sheet name a little later let us start with univariate analysis let us take one by one variable and start the analysis so let us start the variables one by one let us start the analysis you can see customer profile table usage table in the customer profile table you have customer id education level gender marital status monthly income these are non-numeric and then you have numerical variable like age. Let us look at each variable one at a time. And there are some columns that are not part of the table, but still created by Tableau. This is the one, the count. This is also known as row count. So customer profile table, this count will be useful later on when you are doing frequency calculations, etc. This count will be useful. Okay. Usage table count. Okay. These are the two extra variables that are given to us for using an analysis even if you ignore them there is nothing wrong in that okay so educational level is the first variable let us analyze this so how do you analyze this educational level you can either drag and drop it here or you can double click also once you double click or drag and drop it it will create a table like this then you can use this show me option to change the way this table looks like. I want it to be created as since this educational level is taking discrete values like this, different categories. I would like to create a bar chart. In that bar chart, how many graduates are there? How many high school graduates are there? Post graduates are there? Uneducated or unknown college graduates are there? I would like to know. So what I'll do is I'll take the customer ID and then I would like to count all of them. So I'll just click on customer ID. Let me just double click on customer ID and try to make it like a measure. I would like to count distinct, okay? Count distinct educational level, okay? This is the count. And you can sort it also. Right now, this is what it is giving. Then hold control, all of you. Hold the control button and copy the same, put it on label. So the count is also showing it on label. Okay, count distinct customer IDs on the label also it is showing. Okay, if you don't want to show it, just simply press Control Z. If you want to sort this, then you can use this option, sort descending or sort ascending. You can use this option. Most of them are graduates, high school, unknown, etc., etc. If you want to further 
make this little bigger you can drag this and it look like this or you can say control z this is also fine you can also change this fit to the width fit to the height if you like to fit to the entire view or simply standard is this one let's say let us use fit to the height this is the educational level related bar chart and i can see that education level there are many more graduates second one is high school the third one is unknown uneducated etc etc here a simple bar chart can be created like this now let us give a name to this uh, the sheet let's give a sheet name here education level rename the sheet education education level this is a variable name automatically sheet name is changing you can actually format it if you like to this is middle aligned and you can make it bold you can select this make it bold you can change the type of font and then say you can change the color you can try all this there is nothing complex about this apply okay education level and this got it yeah. the next variable is gender we can also create a bar chart like this for gender or we can create a pie chart so what you can do is you can duplicate this so click on this and say duplicate so education level 2 it is coming as rename it as gender okay or freshly also you can create let's say you don't want to duplicate it simply you want to create a fresh sheet just let me delete this and i can just click on this button new worksheet freshly you can create it okay now let us analyze gender 